Hi everyone, The Crafty Atelier or Angela is here with a repaint video of, or a re-repaint video of my doll that I've had for many years, Luna Lovegood. Uh, she was one of my first repaints I've ever done and I think it's time to do her face again. <laughs> Just because I've progressed so much in these long years. <laughs> uh, I believe I made her in 2019. So it's been at least four years now. So we'll see how far I've come, how much more I've got to go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was actually a little scary because it was just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Her face over the years have just gotten kind of muddy, kind of dusty. <laughs> I don't dust them. <laughs> so it's probably on me. Yeah, it is on me. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I really like how she turned out in the end. To be honest, this is her original face. I, oh, yeah, I already put two layers on because I was getting frustrated. But that's okay. <laughs> it took me a while to get the sketch down that I wanted. Um, I was kind of going off like a, an artist's rendition of Luna. Um, and what it was is very stylized so I, I can't remember to be honest who the artist was but I found her on Pinterest I just saw the picture and I was like oh those eyebrows look really cool and that's kind of what I took from it so I like took a, a couple different inspirations um, from artists or just the movie uh, pictures of Luna Lovegood that uh, looked really good to me so that's kind of what I did too so I just kind of all over the place took creative leeway with it um, yeah so for this one I did not actually give her dark dark pupils like black pupils I did not just because I wanted her to be a little bit more ethereal a little bit more I don't know soothsayer like <laughs> um, she's very whimsical to me uh, like in the books in the movie, but I think she's very also practical, but in a weird sense, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, I really related to Luna, as most people are, uh, want to do. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed her character um, in the books and the movie, I think. Uh, she was kind of overlooked a lot and yet she was very very wise for her young age um, but yeah I gave her some freckles just s slight ones just very slight because she does have some I didn't want her to just not have any skin texture and you guys know me I love my skin texture she had skin texture before and it was a bit much so I just went with it just a few little dabs here and there over her across her nose and her cheeks and it just gave just the right amount so I really enjoyed that <laughs> um it didn't look it well to me it doesn't look as muddy um I tried to be a little bit more uh light-handed with things like her eyelashes even though they kind of did get clumped up a bit uh I just figured you know what she's wearing mascara she's going to that party <laughs> um again her eyebrows her eyebrows were a chore and I think it's just because I'm not used to making blonde um, eyebrows very much so of course when people have blonde hair they usually have either darker eyebrows because if they don't have darker eyebrows then it usually looks like they don't have any eyebrows at all um, so because they're so blonde so I went with a little darker route for this one um, but I, th I still think it looks pretty good uh, it doesn't look as red in person so it is more like a tannish brown so yeah for her eyes I really just I tried to give her this kind of aloof kind of almost hooded look to where she is I don't know I mean Professor Trulani, she's, that's kind of who I kind of um, compare her to, is that she's kind of like this soothsayer person, but Trulani had like huge eyes, she was always kind of like, woo, you know, and um, Luna Lovegood's a bit more chill than that, <laughs> so that's kind of why I did her, her eyes the way I did, so just kind of, you know, introspective, I think, um, 
hopefully I pulled that off. I don't know. Uh, I do like the shape of them. It took me a while to get the shape down that I wanted. Um, but yeah, I really like how her lips turned out because the previous ones, I did not like them at all, at all. It was not good. The color wasn't good. The shape wasn't good. They didn't actually have the shape of what Luna Lovegood's lips were. So I wanted to make it a point to actually do that this time. So I actually made her have like, a, what do they call that? A bow, like the bow on your, on your top lip. Um, very pronounced. So it, it gives her this more uh, adult sort of look as well. So in essence, sort of being wise, even though that's, I mean, you can be an adult and not be wise, but for Luna Lovegood, that's how it is. <laughs> So I hope you guys are enjoying uh, this re-reface up, <laughs> re-repaint. <laughs> um, this is just kind of for me just to see my progress. Um, I know I have a lot more to go before I, you know, am happy with where I'm at. <laughs> but that just comes with practice and, you know, being very uh, critical of your own art and the way you do your methods and that kind of thing but it's not overly critical it's just critical to the point that you do make progress so um, here she is she's all done I'm going to gloss her lips only because I want the pictures to show up really nice for her eyes so I mean if I will be posting her on my Etsy September 1st if anybody would like to get her um, if you would like her eyes to be glossed, I will gloss them before I send the, her out. But um, otherwise, they're just going to be uh, not glossed. But here she is. I did keep all of her original stuff. I did do revamp her shoes a bit just because they were just over years. It, it didn't hold up well. So there's that. But everything is handmade. I made it myself a long time ago when I first started getting into it. So it's, it's really nostalgic for me as well to kind of see this <sighs> repaint. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm ready to, to send her away and uh, to go to a loving home, someone who loves Harry Potter just as much as me. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you would want to. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more coming, you guys. Uh, so just stay tuned. I'm trying to get past the uh, farmer's market time of the season and um, and try and get this, this pushed out to you guys uh, as soon as I can. I'm still trying to get my Etsy shop going. It will be up September 1st, don't worry. So I am doing a lot of different things. So hopefully I can get another video out uh, this coming week, hopefully tomorrow for a giveaway. So stay tuned for that, woohoo. Um, that's it for me, guys. I'll leave you with the rest of it. Thanks. Bye.